of Savannah's Knight, um, no, not Savannah's Knight, sorry, Marquis de Sevigny. Uh, the wide draw wouldn't be an advantage, uh, but uh, also Edouard de Rothschild told me yesterday that's over a mile and a half. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And I said um, uh, Savannah's Knight, that's of course the third string for um, yeah. Andre Farber, classy stayer. Didn't work out when he ran in the Group 1 Grand Prix de saint Cloud over a mile and a half, but they said just the running of the race didn't suit that day, so they're trying again. A big day for OTI racing. Uh, hope uh, plenty of the uh, members of the uh, syndicate are here enjoying their day at uh, Paris, Paris Longchamp as they circle down and you can see the grand stands are full. Sunway will be looking for this type of ground but probably uh, uh, is not up to it. Delius we haven't mentioned, Jean-Claude Rouget's runner in it and of course is owned by Susan Magna, part of Cool Coolmore. Very quickly, Fanny with news on Delius, a horse that we shouldn't forget. Yes, I had a chance to speak to Frédéric Pontier who's the travelling lad for um, Jean-Claude Rouget and obviously it's been uh, a very special year and a very difficult year for the team um, and um, Pompon was saying it's actually hard but we're holding on we're um, closing shoulders and the horse is doing well and you know we're doing the best that we can in the circumstances but the horse is doing well yeah good luck to them Jean-Claude Rouget yeah. the trainer been absent for many weeks and months uh, due to health issues uh, so we wish him well and we wish uh, them success uh, with Delius a horse that's a very backward horse so he will still be progressing as they nearly all in here's Ian Marquis de Sévigné just going forward there. So the final few taking their places. Uh, there's Luc de Vega in the silver jacket. Shin the Emperor. And also Savannah's Knight, a right at the rear of the stores there. Here is Shin Emperor, full brother to a previous winner. And then Savannah's Knight in the white sleeves and white cap with Mikael Barcelona is the final one. Slots it, that's in. They are all in for the Qatar Prix de Lac de Triomphe. 2,400 metres, they race away. Blue stocking back. Bounces out very quickly. Fantastic Moon is dropped out right at the rear of the field. Savannah's Knight and Zarakem are also towards the back. Look to Vegas taking a prominent position. Los Angeles has gone on. Sozi and Blue Stocking chasing him. Shin Emperor is next to Look to Vega, Avantia, Zarakem, Hayazak and Al Riffa. Delius and Servi, the next pair to Sunway. Fantastic Moon. And then comes Continuous, who races in company with Savannah's Knight. And Mackey's to Sevigny is settled right at the back of the field as it is Los Angeles in the blue sleeves going through to lead the yellow and uh, blue stripes of Hayazark moving through uh, wide on the course into second place a pink cap for blue stocking against the running rail Susie in blue and white is next the maroon jacket of Shin Emperor alongside and moving ahead of those now Sunway nose bounded runner yellow and white Zarakim in the green colours against the running rail Luke de Vega being shuffled back through them he got out very very quickly, this the Silver Jacket. He's halfway down the field now with Aventure just ahead of him. Fantastic Moon in the Royal Blue against the running rail. Al Riffa is then very deep on the course. Checks of grey and white. Hayazard checked up there very badly and is plummeting back through the field. And Marquis de Sevigny being very badly hampered as well. And Hayazard has gone wrong on being pulled up as they get to halfway. And Los Angeles is now two lengths clear. Blue stalking in second position. Sozi's round the outside of Zarakem. Sunway and continue and uh, Aventure behind these to Shin Emperor and Fantastic Moon and Delius. Then look to Vega, then Al Riffer on the outside of Servi, followed by Savannah's Knight, and then comes Continuous. And Marquis de Sevigny is at the back of the field, but they're down the full straight now. Los Angeles uh, in front, ridden by long by about a length and a half to Blue Stocking. Sozi, blue and white in third. Sunway, the yellow and white on the outside. Uh, behind these is Zarakem, Shin Emperor and Aventure, and next to Fantastic Moon, and then comes Delius. But this this is a home run in the Arc de Triomphe. Blue Stocking coming to challenge Los Angeles. Sozi trying to come through. Sunway in behind those. Aventure making good headway. Fantastic Moon and Sarakan, the next pair. Delius is further behind this. Blue Stocking has taken it up. The four-year-old Philly Blue Stocking goes into the lead. Sozi, it's a repeat now of the uh, from last time at the uh, Viva May. Aventure coming to chase Blue Stocking. Los Angeles and Sozi behind these. But Blue Stocking is in front with Ross Ryan and she's won the Arc de Triomphe. 
to Aventure. Then came Los Angeles and Sosie and Zara Kermit uh, behind this event at Turn this night. Uh, somewhere on the outside of Serviel. Riffer is further back and they're trailing back to Continuous and Marquis de Sevigny. Both got very badly hampered at the halfway stage. But Blue Stocking, another winner in the colours of John Montier, following on from the likes of Dancing Brave and Workforce and Rainbow Quest, wins to Aventure in second place. The 1 2 from the Prevair Mail, the 1 2 in the arc. Los Angeles made the running and finished in third. Sozy is a length and a half further back in fourth place. Then Cervetus Knight and Zara Kim and Servi and Delius and Fantastic Moon and Subway and Mal Riffer. Just a second ride then for Ross Ryan. Rafe Beckett was second with Westover. Now they are the arc winners. Rafe Beckett is an arc winning trainer with Blue Stocking supplementary entry during the double Prix Verme and Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. The uh, stewards' inquiry siren has rung out following that incident, and of course, our thoughts are the race uh, marred by that incident uh, and, and accident for Higher Zark during the race. Our thoughts are with connections of Higher Zark, but uh, Ross Ryan oblivious to all that, of course, and he is celebrating the greatest moment of his career on this uh, 